Ice Bearers have finally got the love they deserve, and while they may not have exactly received the melodious treatment, they have entered into the realm of playability as a rogue meta contender. And today, I'm going to show you how to play them. So let's get into it. So starting off with the one card combos, Hexa facilitates a combo that draws you four cards. That's right, four cards. So what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon Hexa, you're going to use its effect to send a level 3 or lower Ice Barrier from your deck to the graveyard, it then becomes the level of the monster you send. So you're going to send Mirror Mage. Mirror Mage just has the greater effect to search for any Ice Barrier card when it is sent to the graveyard. So in this case, we'll be searching for Speaker. And once you have Speaker, you're going to use her effect to special summon a self if you control an Ice Barrier on your side of the field. With two monsters on your side of the field, you want to link into Coral and Emony, and then activate her effect to summon out the Mirror Mage to the zone she points to. I think it's safe to put in defense, but it doesn't really matter. You're then going to activate Mirror Mage's effect, which is you contribute a card on your side of the field to summon up to three Ice Barrier tokens to your side of the field, and then your Mirror Mage gains a level equal to the number of tokens you summon. So in this case, we're going for the full three, and it'll become a level five. So from here, you can synchro summon out a Coral Dragon using itself and one of the tokens. And then you're going to use the Grave Effect of Speaker to special summon another token to your side of the field since you control an Ice Barrier. From here, you have 9, so you want to make a Crocker Dragon and summon it to your side of the field. Once it hits the field, you want to activate Crocker Dragon as Chain Link 1 and uh, Coral Dragon as Chain Link 2. The reason for this is that you chain block against Ash. So if they do Ash, they only stop with one draw instead of the three you would get from Crocker Dragon. And that is how you draw four cards off a single Hexa. Mirror Mage is also a one card combo, although it's not as good as Hexa. It is probably something you're only going to do when your back's against the wall and it's somewhat decent if you consider that if this is the only card you have in your hand, you probably have four other hand traps in your hand to sort of back up your play. So anyway, you'll start off by normal summon your Mirror Mage, you'll then link it off for an Almirage, this is the whole reason we play Almirage. Mirror Mage's effect will activate to allow you to search an Ice Barrier card, in this case you have to go for the Freezing Chains and we will activate the Freezing Chain to special summon Mirror Mage back to our side of the field. So yeah, we'll just summon the boy to outside the field. We'll then activate his effect. We can tribute Almirage. It doesn't have to tribute a water monster, just any monster inside the field. But it does lock you into water monsters for the turn. I believe water synchros from the extra deck. So you'll summon out three tokens to your side of the field. And then from here you have a few options. You can you probably will always go into Carl Dragon first to get an additional draw. But from here you can either go into a pack pit if you suspect you're playing against snake eyes or a drag, a drag guide if you feel as though the spell trap negate is the safer one to go about it. If going second and if you have the extra deck space for it, you can also put in white aura whale, which facilitates sort of a lightning storm monster destruction. In this case, we're just gonna go for the drag guide because it's probably what you'll go for blindly. So you at least have a, a spell trap negate, you get an additional draw and then you have four extra cards in your hand to do something with. Hopefully it's enough. I think it's, it will work, but thankfully you don't see this, this sort of corner case too often. Let's take a look at another one card combo. In another situation where your back's against the wall and the only starter you have is Swap Frog, it can still get you enough. So you'll normal summon the Swap Frog, you'll activate its effect, and you'll send the Mirror Mage to the graveyard. Again, Mirror Mage's effect is going to activate and you're going to search exactly the Freezing Chain. You guys may be familiar with this combo from watching Sprite, and you know from here they'll just use the freezing chain to summon back out the mirror mage and for sprite it's full combo but for us not exactly which is kind of disappointing considering that the ice barrier stuff should do better in the ice barrier deck i think ice barrier as a whole is better than sprite but you know this is just uh unfortunately the case with uh swap frog so what's going to happen is that you'll make a totally awesome overlay in the two monsters toad by itself doesn't seem like much but it does generate some advantage as i'll show you now so we'll end the turn It'll go to the opponent's turn. During standby phase, we'll activate the Toad's effect, and you need to detach specifically the Mirror Mage. Mirror Mage will go to the graveyard. You'll special summon out a Swap Frog from your deck, and then in the new chain, Mirror Mage's effect will activate to get you a search, and then you'll use the Swap Frog to chain block. With Swap Frog, you will send another Swap Frog from the deck to, to Graveyard and then with that you can search any card from your deck or any Ice Barrier card. From this situation I would definitely go for a Revealer because it is your best starter and I'll show you what exactly I mean in a second. We'll jump in straight into the 1.5 card combo which requires you to have Revealer plus any blank card in your hand. Let's check it out. 
So as I mentioned, your 1.5 card combo requires you to have Revealer plus any discard in your hand. So this is how you would go about that combo. You would normal summon the Revealer. She has an ignition effect to discard a card from your hand. She special summon an Ice Barrier Tuner from your deck. So we will almost always go for the Hexa. We'll special summon the Hexa to our side of the field. We will then use Hexa's effect to send Mirror Mage to the graveyard. Mirror Mage's grave effect will activate to search out a speaker. And once you have speaker in your hand, and if you control an Ice Barrier, you can special summon it from your hand for free. You'll then go into a Bahamut Shark, overlaying your two level fours. And then you want to activate Bahamut Shark's effect, detaching the speaker. This is just in case anything happens later on, you can have some follow-up. So you detach the speaker and you summon out the Toad. Please note that we made this Toad in five summons. So this play plays around Nibiru perfectly. So anyway, from the situation, you'll then link off your Hexa and your Bahamut Shark for Coral Anemone. You'll use her effect to summon out the Mermage to your side of the field. You'll then activate Mermage's effect to get rid of the Coral Anemone, and you will summon out a grand total of three tokens to your side of the field. Once your tokens on the field, you will then synchro summon out a Coral Dragon using the Mermage and one of these tokens. You'll then use the Grave effect of Speaker to summon out another token to your side of the field. And just like with the Hexa combo, you're going to go into Coral Dragon to draw four. Remember that when you do this combo, you always want to use your Coral Dragon, sorry, your Ravenous Croco Dragon as Chain Link 1 and your Coral Dragon as Chain Link 2 to Chain Block. So to get you a draw, followed by three more. Pretty strong. Let me show you what else this deck can do. So this is a very specific two card combo that requires you to have exactly Mirror Mage and speaker for the ice barrier in your hand. So the way you'd go about this is your normal summon mirror mage, you then special summon speaker from your hand to your side of the field. As always, you'll use the mirror mage's effect to tribute the speaker and summon three tokens to your side of the field. Two and three. We'll then synchro summon into a coral dragon using the mirror mage and one of the tokens. And because we haven't used Mirror Mage's Grave Effect just yet, we can activate it to search for an Ice Barrier card from our deck. In this case, you want to be going for Gorgeous. And because you control an Ice Barrier on your side of the field, you can Special Summon Gorgeous from your hand for free. And when he Special Summons to your side of the field, you can Special Summon a level 5 or lower Ice Barrier from hand or grave. In this case, we're summoning back the Speaker to our side of the field. With a 6 and a 4, we can make a 10. We're going straight into Lancia. Lancia the whole reason to play this deck. It is so good. Um, for those of you who don't know, what Nancy does is twice per turn if your opponent special summons, you can special summon an Ice Barrier monster from your deck and then change the attack position of one monster your opponent controls to defense position. If this card leaves the field by an opponent's card, you can special summon Ice Barrier from extra deck and treat it as a synchro summon. Very good, very hard to get rid of. The main reason that you want to special summon Ice Barriers from the deck is because all of your Ice Barriers have a floodgate type effect. Most of the time you would be going for Gorgeous plus a General Raiho, the Gorgeous has an Abyss Dweller effect for your opponent, and the General Raiho says your opponent has to resolve their monster effects on field by discarding a card. If they can't, the effect's negated. But anyway, um, we'll then continue with the combo by activating Speaker's effect from Grave to special summon out another token to the side of the field. And from here, just like before, we will make a Croco Dragon to draw four. I mean, why not? Drawing four is fun, right? <laughs> Uh, again, make sure that you activate Croco Dragon as Chainlink 1 and Coral Dragon as Chainlink 2. It does play around Ash Blossom, but sadly not around Imperm or Valor. But that's that's okay. If you the Imperm or Valor, the Croco Dragon, you're still going to draw off Coral Dragon. So it's still something. But yeah, that's what your end board would look with a Sukar combo. This is probably what you want to go through in most cases, but it doesn't play around, play around Nibiru, so do keep that in mind. This is another one of those specific combos which requires you to have Gorgeous plus Swap Frog. And the way you'd go about this is you would normal summon out the Swap Frog, use its effect to send the Mermage from Death to Graveyard. Mermage's effect again will activate. We're searching for mm, Freezing Chain. So most of the times when you don't have too many Ice Barriers, you'll almost always be going for the Freezing Chain to just get some more extension. So you'll be activating the Freezing Chain to special summon out the Mermage from your deck. You'll then special summon out Gorgeous. You, from here, you can make a level 8 
Um, in this case, we're going to go for Pack Pit. If we had another card in hand, we could discard it to put the Pack Pit into our Spell and Trap Zone when we, when we Synchro it off. But in this case, we're just doing things in a vacuum, so we don't. And then from here, we'll Synchro using the Mirror Mage and the Pack Pit to make a Lancia. Okay, let's try and take a look at some of the 2.5 card combos. This deck has a lot. And I'll show you just how much they raise the ceiling of this deck compared to these other combos. So let's take a look at them. So for your basic 2.5 card combo, you want to open up a Revealer, a Discard, plus either a Speaker or a Gorgeous. So it doesn't matter which of those two, you just need one of them. So in this case, we're going to activate this to get one of those two to our hand. So I can show you what exactly I mean. In this case, let's go for the Speaker because I think it will be the safest in this sort of situation where you have Medallion plus Revealer. So you would Normal Summon the Revealer, you would activate her effect, in this case with the discard is the Freezing Chains, to then Special Summon out Hexa to the side of the field. You would then use Hexa's effect to send the Mirror Mage from Dex Graver. Mirror Mage's effect will activate to Search. In this case, you would either go for the Gorgeous or the Speaker, depending on which one you're missing. In this case, we're missing the Gorgeous, so we'll add that to our hand. We'll then special summon the speaker to our side of the field. This will make our Bahamut Shark, as with the 1.5 card combo. We'll then activate Bahamut Shark's effect, detaching the speaker to special summon out a totally awesome to our side of the field. Again, we did this in five summons. We'll then make a Coral Anemone by linking away the Bahamut Shark and the Hexa, activating her effect to special summon out the Mirror Mage from Graveyard. Using the Mermage's effect to tribute the Coral Anemone, summoning out three tokens. And there's the third one. Like with all our other combos, you want to synchro off the Mermage and one of your tokens to make a Coral Dragon. We'll then special summon out the Gorgeous from our hand. Make sure you special summon Gorgeous before using any of the other effects. Sometimes, you know, this can get banished or whatever the case may be. You just kind of want to do this before you banish your speaker for the additional token, just for safety's sake. From here, you will then Synchro a 10. Lancia is usually the one you want to go about. It's, again, the best card in your deck. We'll then activate Speaker's Effect to summon out an additional token. And then from here, we will make a Coral Dragon. I don't need to tell you how to, chain, how to sequence your chaining. You know by now. Let's get those four cards. And that is your basic 2.5 card combo. Another 2.5 card combo is when you open up Swap Frog, a water to discard, and then another card to discard for a builder. So the way you would do, go about this combo is you would have to special summon out the Swap Frog by discarding the water to summon out Swap Frog to your side of the field. Swap Frog's effect will activate and you want to send the Mirror Mage from deck to graveyard. Mirror Mage's effect is going to activate to search out the Revealer, since we have a normal summon this turn. We'll then normal summon the Revealer, activating her effect, and we'll discard the Cross out. And in this case, we're going for Gorgeous, since we've already spent the Mirror Mage's effect, there's no point going for the Hexa. So we'll special summon Gorgeous to us out of the field. Gorgeous's effect will activate to special summon out the Mirror Mage from our graveyard. And then, on our first summon, we're gonna hard make a toad using the Swap Frog and the Mermage. And then we're gonna make a Lancia using our Gorgeous and Revealer. Just like the last Swap Frog, frog fr swap frog combo, when we end our turn, we'll pass the opponent. During the standby phase, we'll use the Toad's effect, detaching the Mermage to surge, special summon a frog. And then in the new chain, we'll use Mermage's effect to chain link one to get a surge and then Swap Frog's effect as Chain Link 2 to Chain Block. So we'll be sending out, I guess we use all of our Swap Frogs in this case, so just send the swap, we'll just send the Mirror Mage. But generally speaking, you wouldn't have the second Swap Frog in your hand, so you'd be sending a, that Swap Frog from your deck to the graveyard. From here, you can add a card for follow-up. Again, Reveal is your best card, so you want to add that to your hand. If you want to play a bit, if you are a bit worried and you want to have a bit more flexibility, you can then search for the Medallion. In this case, I'm just going to grab the Revealer. So yeah, that's your other 2.5 card combo. So for our last combo, you need specifically an Ice Jade plus a Mirror Mage and a Discard. So the way you go about this, you'd activate the Ice Jade's effect, 
Send them a mage, summon itself, and a token to your side of the field. So we'll summon the token, yes, we want that token. And then we'll activate the grave effect of the mermage to search a revealer from us. Decked to hand. We'll then make a Lancia. To your side of the field. And then from here, you would normal summon out the revealer and activate her effect, sending the medallion and special summon an ice barrier from your deck. I would probably go for the Gorgeous, I think it is the only play in the situation, and you would use Gorgeous's effect to then special summon out the Mirror Mage from Grave to your side of the field. From here, you, what you're going to do is you're going to make another level 10 synchro. So your options are either the Ice Jade if you want protection, or the Chang'e if you suspect your opponent's going to vanish from Grave. Safer option will always be the Ice Jade because it protects your board from destruction and banishment. The Mirror Mage doesn't look like it does anything to our side of the field, but something that is worth noting is that while this is a card that is basically the Ice Barrier's boss monster, it itself is not an Ice Barrier. Yeah, its name is Ancestral Dragon of the Ice Mountain. So unfortunately, it does not meet the full requirements of most of your Ice Barrier's um, floodgate effects, which require you to have two Ice Barriers to your side of the field. So by having one Mirror Mage on your side of the field, which is an Ice Barrier, the first special summon your opponent makes, you can then go straight for General Raiho and then block your opponent out of monster effects in a sense because they have to discard every time they activate a monster effect on field and if they don't, the effect's negated. This is essentially a SARS or what is it, an IRS consultant in a hat. It's good. But yeah, as I'm sure you guys can see, this deck is a lot more consistent than you may think it to be, but it's also harder and more specific than some of the tier 1 decks. A lot of the commons required you have very specific one or two cards in your hand to go off. Thankfully, you are playing three of the medallion, which can kind of fill it in the spot. But it is something to consider before picking this up. Anyway, that's all from me. Check you guys in the next.